Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Uh, welcome to Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new, but if you're a regular, welcome back. So guys, what I thought I'd do today is talk a little bit about the topic of daily organization um, and sort of balance to some extent. Um, I talked about a month ago now uh, about sort of managing burnout um, and it's a topic that a lot of you guys said that you'd like to hear more about. So today I'm going to be sharing two things that uh, are going really well in terms of my routine and things like that and two things that I'm sort of confused, not confused about, but sort of umming and ahhing about and I'd love to hear your opinions on when it comes to balance and uh, sort of keeping that routine going. So guys, uh, hopefully this video is insightful. But let's dive in. Just before we dive in, a big, big thank you to Setup, who are sponsoring this week here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Setup uh, are basically renting app service for Mac users. So basically, you can rent over 100 apps available in one subscription. So you don't have to pay the upfront fees or download fees or recurring fees. It's just one set monthly rate, which makes it so useful when you're sort of getting any tool you want. So you can access Setup from the menu bar once you've downloaded it, and you can download any apps from there, which makes it super easy to use. I've got Setup, and I really love it. And you can check it out in the description below. You can also check out my review there too. So guys, let's start with the good stuff. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is sort of routine, daily routine. And over the last couple of months, I've been a bit manic with stuff. So let me just give you a bit of background. Um, we got married, um, and then we went on honeymoon, and then we came back and we went for a vacation. So the last two or three months have been sort of up and down, which has been a bit strange. So uh, obviously routine has sort of been pushed out a little. And of course routine is important. Uh, getting a routine and making sure you're keeping it, sort of building sort of roots to it will help you to, I guess, do better to some extent. A lot of the, the sort of the people, uh, the most successful people around the world have uh, positive and healthy habits and routines in their day. So while I was on vacation, I read a really good book called The Morning Routine. Uh, it's sort of a collection of morning routines from professionals, CEOs, um, and sort of even those sort of uh, Buddhist monks, which is amazing. Um, and you've got a real good idea about how to sort of take the morning routine. And there was such a sort of different uh, blend of routines. Like some people started it slowly, did their own thing and sort of focused on themselves. Other people went straight into work and really intensified and then took an afternoon break or an evening sort of ritual that calmed them down. Um, and that was a really insightful read for me. Um, so I, I managed to get the book uh, finished, although I actually probably have a, a small section at the back that I need to do finish. Um, but the book was very impressionable. And what I did when I came back is I went, I actually don't have much from now until Christmas in terms of like a big vacation or necessarily a big event. So what I thought I'd do is sort of hone in on my daily routine. And since then, I've, I, I guess I've had some real success with my routine. So the thing that has been very successful is understanding a bit more about my own process. And that's what, where the book helped. Um, I saw so many people um, posting in this book and in the side of this book with their different sections, stating the differences in their routine. Um, sorry, my glasses are steaming up. Posting the different statuses of their routine and and I saw such a different sort of approach to all of them and that sort of got me thinking um, I was someone who was very um, Pointed towards starting very early and even uh, You know doing workouts in the morning and things like that and and sometimes you have to listen to yourself a bit more uh, What works best for you? So my morning routine starts a little bit later. I've been getting more sleep. So probably around seven o'clock um, I'll wake up with Becca, I'll go in, and if it's uh, optional, I guess, uh, I'll go in and do a morning uh, meditation, and that really does help. Some days I'll do a little bit of writing or listen to some music, um, but I tend not to necessarily have um, some breakfast straight away. I'll either wait until before lunchtime or after a workout, or I will um, have some breakfast, and it will just make uh, that sort of day like a real nice start and and I, I feel sort of a lot better on myself uh, and this is coming back to that point of uh, I'm listening to myself and then I'm actually sort of applying it uh, to my routine. So yeah I feel a lot better on my routine. I'm going to the gym a little bit later in the day so I'm going about 11 to 1 o'clock and I find my my body and my brain have sort of kicked in by then um, which has really been great. 
So that first thing, I guess, the first thing is, the first lesson that I've learned there is that I now understand uh, that my body and mind, to some extent, uh, should be listened to when it comes to setting out your own routine. Obviously, some people are, s are restricted because of work, um, and luck can laugh, I've been less restricted, but still, I think before I could have done a lot more to um, sort of, you know, make my own routine and sort of give myself some time back. So that's the first lesson I've brought across, but I think it's going in the right direction. I'm really happy at that. And number two, um, I've been a lot more organised in myself, I feel. Um, over the last uh, sort of month, I've changed a lot of applications and uh, I don't do this often at all. Uh, the last time I did a major change of applications was about five years ago now. So uh, the real transition uh, in the last couple of months uh, from sort of using Notion has really helped me and helped me to stay a bit more organised. So uh, I am. I, I feel a lot more organised. Um, but what I would want to say is that I'm being a bit more restrictive on my work. So I'm being. I'm setting less tasks on my to-do list so that I complete them and then I'm able to add more later. Previously, I would dump loads on, and then the middle of the day, I'd sort of like defer or snowball a lot of them till tomorrow or the day after. And now I'm being a lit, lot more sort of stricter with my time. I'm also doing a lot more time-based productivity to some extent. So when I'll start a piece of work, like an article or working on, on marketing for a client, I will be like, okay, I'm gonna set myself a 30 minute timer or 20 minute timer. Then I'm gonna give myself a five minute break. Um, I'm also doing, uh, trying to squeeze in a 20 minute nap in the afternoon too. Um, although I know that's not possible for a lot of people, uh, it's actually been really beneficial on me. I felt a lot more energetic in the evening um, and it's sort of given me a lot of time back. And obviously if you're in a position where you can't do that in the office, um, luckily I work from home, so I'll just jump on one of the sofas and you know put a pillow over my eyes. But if you can't, I guess a car would suffice. So I want to talk a bit about the bad habits, um, the sort of things that I definitely do need to improve. And of course, I'd love your advice on this one, whether you have any articles or resources that you think I should be pointing towards, um, it will be very helpful. So pop them in the comments. The first is distracted time. Um, of course, I've been a, little more, a lot more organized, a lot more focused, but when I'm not, when I'm not in that mood, I tend to snowball into a negative flow of stuff. So for example, um, if I'm like, uh, it's at like four o'clock and uh, I'm a bit knackered and I didn't do maybe my nap or <laughs> I didn't do stuff like that, I will then be more distracted. I'll like play music or like watch a video and then watch another video that I know that I wouldn't necessarily need, whether that's like self-improvement video or like uh, a music video. I'll be like, why am I listening to this? And then an hour later I'll be like, okay, this is silly. Um, so I've been, I definitely, uh, when I'm organized and when I'm focused, I'm focused, but when I'm distracted and, you know, that. So maybe um, I do need to explore a few more of the sort of freedom applications that allow you to block uh, sites and things like that. Again, I use a lot of the popular social network sites for work, so that's where it can be distracting, and I'll use a lot of um, sort of some of the features and functions for it. So I can't necessarily block elements of the site. So I guess maybe I need to set specific times where I do it and then I'm not allowed to do it after that. Um, obviously in the sort of weekends, I would casually play like a game on my phone, um, but I really need to sort of oust that. And I have maybe the last two weeks, I've been uh, sort of uh, obliterated that to some extent. So if you have any recommendations for ways that you can reduce distraction, I'd really love to hear that. The second area is uh, imposter syndrome. I, that sort of kicked back in again. Um, so I would say at the end of last year, I had a lot of this. Um, the, the YouTube channel was growing a lot um, with you guys and uh, I was doing a lot of good things and working with it, some really uh, great people. And uh, you know, you start to doubt yourself when that happens. Uh, sorry, I'm playing with my glasses if you can hear some sound. <laughs> um, you can start to doubt yourself once you've got like uh, sort of like some clients in and you're like, it's some success sometimes can put doubt in your mind. Um, and I'm sort of more of that character uh, sometimes. But I think I try to calm down with that. But I'm still suffering uh, to some extent from me overthinking a situation. So the last couple of months, 
um, where I've been doing some great stuff and, and like for example uh, I brought in David Pierce uh, from uh, not The Verge, I want to say The Verge, The Wall Street Journal. Um, that was a real shocker to me because um, we, I managed to like get in touch with him and he was so eager to come on um, and I've been obviously trying to reach out to him for a fair while but um, it was again imposter syndrome because I'd followed him since I was super duper young so like eight nine years ten years and that's a massive amount of time to have got in touch with him by so I guess uh, my sort of thoughts around this is that um, it's a bit of a struggle when you know you you can see yourself doing well but then you sort of doubt yourself so that's my sort of mindset right now if you've got any resources or articles or um, I don't know videos that were helpful in helping you to get out of imposter syndrome uh, maybe you move to a new position and you were like mm, this isn't uh, I'm over uh, over qualified not over qualified under qualified for it but I'm doing well in it and you're getting a bit of doubt then maybe that's uh, maybe you found some resources that were helpful just let me know in the comments I'll be uh, you know I'll add it to my reading list and, and give it a go anyway guys I thought I'd round up a few of the things that I'm doing well on and doing not so well on uh, give you a bit of an outline of my own organization a bit of an honest sort of uh, approach to it uh, but hopefully it gave you an insight in some lessons I've learned. Maybe you can take away some good stuff from it um, and also uh, look to help me out uh, with a few of those other recommendations. Anyway, guys, a uh, big thank you to stopping by today. A big thanks to Setup, who has sponsored this video today. You can check out uh, Setup in the description below. Um, you can get access to it there. The description allows you to access a bunch of Mac apps, um, and there's tons there, so you guys can go out and enjoy all of that good stuff. Anyway, guys, Big thank you for stopping by. Make sure to pop some stuff in the comments and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.